I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make. What is it? Listen, it's gumbalaya. Let's get it. Check this out. This is a chicken andouille. This is my favorite brand. I'll leave everything about this right here. If you guys got that and you're able to get it, you can probably get everything on Amazon. But listen, do yourself a favor. This chicken andouille right here by Hoffy is fire, folks. Then right here, I got diced tomatoes. Obviously, we got a bell pepper. We got a celery. Come on, folks. Bell pepper, celery, what's missing? That's this right here, and you tell me what that is right there. All right, look, we got chicken stock. You can use chicken broth, whichever one you would like to use. We're gonna put a little shrimp in there, and guess what? For all you guys to talk about, hey, I don't really do the uh, okra, we put an okra in there too. We got okra, bay leaf, we got some seasoning, and listen, this is gonna play a part right here, right? I got garlic cloves, and look, we got rice, and I'm gonna be using the branch of vine, garlic infused, you know, olive oil. But what I'm doing is we finna level this, this rice up, and we finna make a garlic rice. This right here is one of the things that's gonna make it tight, folks. And then we got tomato paste. We got a little parsley. We're gonna use that for a little bit of the uh, garnish. And then this right here, look, we just got some chicken. Hey, with that being said, I'm finna go ahead and start. I'm a good, uh, For me, I like to start with my rice. Let's just get that going. And then after that, I'm gonna show you guys just how easy, easy this is to make. Hey, super simple. We're gonna start off by going ahead and making our rice, right? Now listen, the name of this rice, we just gonna call it a, like, like a, a garlic rice. Now, if you've been following me for a minute, you know I always talk about like, listen, we're gonna level up. So anytime we use water, what? We substitute it with what? You guys tell me. That's right. We substitute it with broth or, or stock, right? Like chicken. I don't wanna do that right now, because listen, I, like I said, we making a garlic rice. We wanna taste the rice, and then we don't wanna overpower with no whole lot of flavors, right? So we just wanna do the rice and the garlic, and we are gonna start it, you know, and then we are gonna use a little bit of this uh, branch and vine, garlic infused olive oil, you know, to give it a head start. Okay, so look, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a medium flame underneath the bottom of there, right? I'm gonna start with my olive oil. I'm just gonna put a couple of tablespoons in, right? So we just add some. That's it right there. That's all we need, right? You guys gotta get this. If you don't have it, I'm talking about leveling up and creating layers of flavor. This right here does it. You guys can probably make it this at home, which you can, but I don't know what they do to intensify the garlic, you know, flavor inside of there. This is fire. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and take these couple of little garlic cloves. I'm gonna take it like this. I'm just gonna smash it. Just open it up a little bit, right? That's good. This one, I'm gonna hit it one more time. That's fine, just like that. And then we are gonna just drop it in here. So look, now I'm gonna take my rice. And I'm gonna add my rice. We're gonna move this around. You can see immediately it just absorbs all of the olive oil, right? By being infused with garlic, and we intensified it, you know, with the garlic, you know, smash, you know, press. This is good right here. Now, I'm gonna leave it alone. I just wanted to coat the bottom now, right? Just like this. And we're just gonna let this cook for maybe about one or two minutes. I'm gonna give it another stir, and then we're gonna do it, let it cook for another minute. So I'm just gonna give it just two pinches of salt, right? And then, you know what? What's my favorite? Next to the garlic press is turning this, this pepper. Go ahead and just turn it. Kind of like remind me, you know, when you see it start turning that white, I don't know what it is about that look right there, but it just reminds me of making popcorn. Okay, look, it's been another, about a, about a minute and a half, right? So what, it, what I'm doing right now is just browning the rice just a little bit, sealing it up. I love it. Listen, the aroma that's coming off of it is incredible, right? So now, check it out. Now we're gonna take the water, right? We're gonna add this, this is three cups. Right? Now, just get your stirred, you know what I mean? Uh, let everything, you know, blend together. You wanna make sure that all of the rice has been completely submerged, right? This is it right here. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Look, this is what I do, just to give you an example. I'll do one, and then we'll just move on. But look, I'm gonna take my celery, and I cut it down like that. Once I get them all done, then I take them, and then when I do it like this, I cut them down to the size that I like, right? You guys got it, just give me a minute. I'll, let me go ahead and prep all of this, and then we're gonna move on. You guys gonna love this one. Okay, so you guys can see, look, just went ahead and diced down, you know, my peppers. So that was done, now look. We gonna go ahead and do the okra. It's up to you what size you like these to be, but just wanna make sure that when you cut them, you want them to be consistent. Now we just cut these down. You guys can do whatever. You can cut them down this way, or you can cut them this way. This is just me, you know what I mean? Just, just being a little fancy with it, that's all. Gives you a little bit of a different cut. I love it. Okay, so look, you guys can see, you know what I mean? We got this cut down, we got our okra. We already had these diced. Then we got celery. 
and bell pepper, right? So I just put it in there like that. The reason I did that, because listen, you know, anytime I like to do, uh, when it comes to the, to the Holy Trinity, I always like to start, at least give my onions just a little bit of a head start. Now, if you guys come on over here, like you see, I done changed my cutting board, right? Because guess what, folks? We're getting ready to work with this chicken. All right, so I'm just going to add these just like this. And then let me go ahead and just cut these down. Now, you guys can get them any kind of way. I don't care how it is. I don't care how what shape the chicken is in. I just get down with it. As you can see, these make for some nice tenders right here. Okay, so for me really being specific, these are chicken tenderloins, right? So look, what I want to do is I want to cut these down into bite-sized pieces. Now listen, I know, I always say if you've been following me, you know, always referring back to previous videos, I always make them super big. But this right here, we're just going to go ahead and just make them about this size right here. That right there will get us the money, folks. And then when you know you get a piece like that, just go ahead and divide it up. This right here is what we want to have. Right? I'm looking at the size because like I said, we want them to all be cooked and be ready at the same time, right? Okay, so look, let me go ahead and put my pot, let me get my pot going. I'm gonna go ahead and start off on a medium heat, right? Now, again, I'm gonna start with my branch of vine infused garlic olive oil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in a couple tablespoons, tablespoons, right? Now, I'm just gonna move this around just like this. Once this come up to heat, what we're gonna start off with, we're gonna start with putting some real flavor. And I'm gonna show you this. I want you guys to watch it so your brain can like process it, right? I want you to look at the color. You know what it looks like when we use infused olive oil. You know what that is, right? So look, we good there. Now, I'm gonna start adding my andouille. I just wanna show you as it starts to cook, how it transfers the flavor. That's why I use andouille sauces on everything. Now, I know a lot of times when I use it, a lot of people ask me, what can you do to substitute that? Any smoked sausage or anything like that, just using the andouille keeps it really true to the heritage of being down south. You know what I mean? Uh, that andouille, that's it right there. Now, I'm gonna move this around, make sure everybody get coated with it. You can already see as it heats up, if you look at the andouille, you can see where it's orange right there. That's all the flavor. That's the binder that put everything inside of it, right? So look, when you put that heat on there, it starts to transfer to the oil. But all this is going to come into play. Just watch. Okay, so I want you to look at it now. You can see it's getting a little bit richer in color, right? That's all of the andouille. That's that branch and vine infused olive oil. All of that's mixing. Look at that right there. We're going to take this, take these out. All right? We're going to keep the heat underneath it. I'm doing that for a reason. Look, I'm not going to bore you. Let me just get these out, and then we're going to go ahead and then start browning our chicken. Okay, so take a look at that right there. You can see the pepper, all of the seasoning on there. You can still see some of that infused olive oil, you know, mixed with, now it's mixed with the chicken, and it's got uh, andouille sausage in there. Hey, listen, I can barely think. So look, now I'm just going to take this out. I'm just going to put it right here. Listen, it's all going back. All right, so look, you know everything is still hot, right? Now, you remember when I had the Trinity right here, I was saying to myself, well, I was telling you guys, I don't like to, I got it separated for a reason. Why? Because I'm gonna start with my onions first. I just like to give that a head start, right? So we'll just put that in there. Then we'll move this back and forth like this. And we'll get these like, maybe like a one minute head start, right? Then I just kind of like brush them across because I like to get as much surface, bottom surface, so the heat can get on them. If they're gonna get a head start, they need to be under some type of fire. Then after a minute, then I'll do the dump. That's when I do the celery and the bell peppers. Super easy, and I want you guys to use your brain. Think about what we're doing. You saw all of the flavors, you see what we're building, and we're putting the Holy Trinity on there. Ooh, -hoo wait. Okay, so you see these got a head start, right? I haven't stirred them or done them, yeah, or touched them since, right? Now we just come over the top, celery and bell peppers. So I just want to move this around and make sure we get some of that infused olive oil, you know, and all of them flavors from the andouille sausage. You want to get all of that going, right? Then we're just going to cook this down a little bit. We want them to be a little bit on the soft side. That's the texture I like. Not so much as when they become so translucent. We just want them, once I can touch them, and I touch them there and I can feel they a little soft, that's when I go with it. So I just take my seasoning, add that, get that going. Come back with my wooden spoon and move this around like this. Hey, you know what? Not, I'm not saying nothing about me making this type of video, but listen, if you're new to it and you want to like step your game up and you've been nervous, but you want to do something uh, 
that'll be a real intention getter or, you know, do something, you know, to like stand out with your family. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a great, let's just get started with that. Listen, the success rate on this is like just super easy. You're building a lot of flavors. I promise you it'll be a conversation piece, but I gotta uh, caution you on this. You might end up having to make a lot more dishes like that. Now I'm gonna give it just two dashes of uh, salt. I'm coming with my pepper. And if you've been following me, you know, you gotta keep that fresh ground pepper on your table at all times. It should be in your cabinet. Actually, it should be just like what I said. It should be on your table. You know what I mean? Because listen, I use it a lot and we gotta do that. We can survive without so much salt. Salt's been like so heavily used, you know what I mean? So now, remember we had a, a few car, uh, garlic cloves left, right? Get your press, grab it like this. Oh yeah, folks. This is my reward, getting a chance to squeeze and mint some of this, right? So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it, just like that, right? Set this back here. Hey, one more key thing I wanna tell you guys, listen, as you're cooking, when things are like simmering and stuff like that, here's a piece of real advice for you. Wash your dishes as you go. Have them in your background drying or whatever. That way when you finish, you're 100% done. And you, you know, it's not so much of a chore. After a minute, oh, you can smell it. It's nice and flagrant again. Ooh, real nice. Now, let me go ahead and grab my, my paste. I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Real simple. You can see the flow of this and how it's going. Let the heat get on that. Let that start marinating with the rest, right? Okay, so we got that moving around. Now I'm gonna add my okra. Some of you guys might be asking me like why I didn't go with the liquid first and then add it. I just wanna get a little heat, warm this up too. You know what I mean? And let this like, sort of like become like a little bit concentrated on what we making down here on the bottom. I'm gonna let this cook maybe for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, then we're gonna come with our tomatoes. Okay, so now I'll add my tomatoes. Look at that, folks. Now listen, I want you to see how quiet, listen to this, see how quiet it got? That's because it's not as hot, right? So when you pour it in there, it hits on the bottom, it, the heat just kind of like dissipates, so we gotta wanna, we have to wait a little bit. Now I'm gonna give you a heads up. Look over here. Okay, on our chicken stock, you can heat this up, you know, to give it a head start, but I like my pot to be where I'm at. I'm at a medium high heat, right? So I don't really worry about it, you know what I mean? Because when I put it in there, it's gonna come right on back. If you move, you know, at a semi-cool uh, pace, you don't have no worries. Now, I want you to come back here and take a look in the pot now. Look, I haven't touched nothing or adjust nothing. You see that? It's coming back to a boil. Now we cooking, folks. This is it. If you follow this flow, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna say what's up to y'all right now because this is a premiere. This is on Sunday, so I hope you watch it on Sunday so it all, you know, come into play at the right time. Happy Sunday, everybody. Okay, so now that we boiling again and we nice, everything is hot again, now I'm gonna go ahead and add my stock or broth, whatever you guys are using. Okay, so look, I put a lid on here because I wanted to get this back and get it nice and hot, right? You see that right there? Now we finna come with, don't forget about this, you know we got that chicken and that uh, chicken and dewy out there just hanging there. I want it all in there. You know what I mean? Everything, everything, every, everything that dripped, all of that goes in here. Right now we cooking like grandma. So what we want to do is cook these flavors into that chicken and let everything just marinate, right? So you can only stir this so much. This right here is looking right, right? Remember them bay leaves? Check it out. Boom, boom. I just go ahead and put them there because we want that flavor to get in there too. We just leave it like that. Bring it back to a simmer. We're going to go for about 20 minutes. And after that, we're going to go ahead and plate it. Now, don't forget, y'all had that rice. It should be ready by now. If it's not, we got a problem. I removed the top, right? After my timer went off, because after the 20 minutes, I removed the top and I let it simmer because I want to cook down some of the liquid, right? Now, you see that right there? That's cool. Last step, just go ahead and take your shrimp. Add your shrimp. Now listen, we don't want it to cook too long. I'm gonna go ahead, oh man, the flesh of shrimp is so absorbent. You know what I mean? Even though you had a little bit of liquid left, you know, it was a little bit more on the liquid side. Once you move this around like that, that starts to absorb some of the liquid too. You know what I mean? Because we want it to be not just straight watery like, but we want it to be a little bit on a thick side. But this right here is, mm, I can't say enough about it. Now, I'm gonna let this sit in there for about three or four minutes. 
And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And then we're gonna put some on top of this rice over here. And then I want you guys to take a look at this rice right now. I'm so proud of this rice right now. Don't that look like I bought that? But check it out, that's when it's made, right? Look at the dark a little bit. Some of the, is a little bit darker, you know, darker brown. Mm, I pat myself on the back, folks. Okay, so look, after letting the, you know, the shrimp sit in there for about three minutes max, then just turn it off and we'll just let the residual heat cook it throughout, you know, the rest, right? But now, I can't wait. You can see I'm holding this, don't know how to go in to get it, but check it out, folks. We just finna go like this. And I see the bay leaf, yeah, I know. I ain't took it out yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab that right there. Look at this right here. Let me get this nice and close for y'all to see it. And I'll just put this over the top right here. And we just add this right over here like that. Now I want you guys to listen to my tone, because I can hear it. If that ain't fire, folks, you know, I like to say, I don't know what is. You know what I mean? We gotta get some shrimp in there. And we gotta get a little bit of that liquid. But look at this right here, folks. Ooh, we. Okay, so look, come on in, take a look. I'm finna hit it with a little bit more of this garnish. You know what I mean? Just so you guys can say, ooh, we. You know what I mean? Uh, this right here is fire, folks. Hey, with that being said, check it out. Let me just go in here. Oh, yeah. Let's get... By everything being big, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's hard to get everything in one spoon. Look, I'm missing some chicken. But whatever it is, check it out. Cheers. It just ain't fair, folks. Man, you know what? I hate to keep saying at the end of these videos, it ain't fair. Listen, I do the best, you know what I mean? I got to, I get a chance to create something, you know, film it and put it out there for you guys. Now, look, let me just say this. I know everybody not on IG, right? Listen, I would just ask this. Listen, if you just, if you have an account, go over there and tag me on some of these dishes. We're gonna start with this one right here, Gumbalaya. Make this and tag me. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause listen, if you do that, and I'm gonna get a chance to look at it, respond to it, you know what I mean? Probably post it on my story or do whatever I gotta do to get it out there, right? And guess what folks, I might have something for you. Hey, I ain't gonna say nothing, but it might be a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Now, with that being said, I hadn't said nothing about this and we gotta address this part. What, what kind of rice did we do? We did garlic rice. Remember, I didn't use the, uh, the chicken stock. That was key. You just want to use the water, right? Because you want the flavor from this to mix with the garlic. And I tell you, that's what turns this dish into something special. And that's my opinion. You guys do it how you want to do it, but I ask you this, do mine, do it this way, and we go from there, because I'm gonna read it down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you for spending your Sunday morning with me. Let's get it.